The disappearance of 24-year-old Daniel Robinson, who was last seen driving away from his work site in Buckeye three months ago, has also sparked renewed attention into other missing persons cases across the state. Arizona ranks in the top 10 for missing persons, according to NamUs, a user-generated tracking system used by the Department of Justice. Team 12's Josh Sanders looked into the numbers, which are often underreported. The same thing I've seen what's happening with my son, I can imagine happening with other families. 24-year-old Daniel Robinson is one of nearly 1,000 unsolved cases involving missing persons in Arizona. That's according to NamUs, the National Missing and Unidentified Persons System. Arizona currently ranks sixth behind larger states like California, Texas, and Florida, and the city of Phoenix fifth behind Los Angeles, San Francisco, Houston, and Miami. 12 News is unable to independently verify each case, but the oldest known disappearance, according to the database, is Bertha Smith, who was 31 years old when she was last seen in 1944 in Phoenix. Out of the 971 open cases in the state, 77% are men. Of missing men, 64% are Hispanic or Latino. Of current missing women, 45% are white, and 43% are Hispanic or Latino. And Arizona currently ranks third behind Alaska and Oklahoma for missing American Indian or Alaska Natives. Why do our people, when they go missing, not shown on national media. Why is it that they don't get that much attention? In April, Interior Secretary Deb Hallin announced a new unit within the Bureau of Indian Affairs to address the crisis of missing Native Americans across the country. Navajo Nation First Lady Fafilia Nez says that unit, along with renewed efforts and resources, will help tribal communities and states work together to address missing indigenous people. But there's a lot of people who are willing to be at these tables, though, and that's really what it takes, you know, just to reach out to one another. And NamUs officials tell us they estimate 80 to 90,000 missing person cases in the FBI database every day, which means their system could be underreported. Phoenix police tell us the biggest misconception is you have to wait 24 hours to report your loved one missing. You can do that as soon as you can't find them. We're in downtown Phoenix, Josh Sanders, 12 News. Josh, thanks.